everyone. Welcome back to Pascal's Kitchen. Today we're going to make crostini. Three different kinds of crostini. I love doing this. This is actually one of my favorite meals. Different crostini, a big salad, maybe a glass of rosé, and sitting outside our fresco dinner. It's delicious. So we're going to make three and the first one is a mushroom crostini. You can do this with wild mushrooms, any mushrooms really. Uh, this is going to be made with uh, brown mushrooms which have been lightly sautéed in a little bit of butter with some salt and pepper and just get them to the point where they're browned. Then um, I have some toast here, it's been pre-toasted a little bit, and a drizzle of olive oil, just a light drizzle of olive oil over the toast. This is going to get popped in the oven to broil because it's going to have cheese put on top, melted cheese. So. Just pile up the mushrooms on each one. And I've made four of each. Um, you obviously, you can double the recipe if you're making it for a larger crowd. There. A few errant strays to pick those up. Okay. And on top of this, I've got some grated cheddar cheese. You can use anything. Fontina is lovely. And if you like blue cheese, you could mix some blue cheese into that too. And then pop this under the broiler for a few minutes so it gets really golden, golden brown. And a little bit of pepper. A uh, <clears throat> little bit of pepper and little pinch of salt. We're going to put this in the oven for a few minutes and while that's cooking we're going to make the other crostini. So for the other two crostini, one has a ricotta herb mixture with some grated lemon zest and some slowly roasted asparagus. They only cook for about eight minutes and I just slice them and pop them in the oven on a sheet pan with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. Eight minutes at 350. And they cook, you still want them to be al dente. You have this nice combination of the soft ricotta and the crunchiness of the asparagus on the toast. And the other one is my version of avocado toast. But we'll get to that one in just a sec. Okay, ricotta, six ounces. In here are some chives and some lemon thyme. If you can't find lemon thyme, just use regular thyme. At lemon thyme, I love the perfume that it has, and I like the combination of that with the lemon zest in the ricotta. So pop all of that in there. There's about a tablespoon of the chives and a teaspoon of the lemon thyme. Then the zest of one lemon. I like to zest lemons this way. It, everything just collects in the channel, makes it so much easier to just pop this into the bowl or the receptacle that you're using. Okay, quickly zest this. And then we're going to add to the ricotta mixture a there, little bit of lemon or uh, a little bit of olive oil and some pepper and a pinch of salt. Let's mix this all together. If you don't want to do asparagus and you have something else, maybe grilled zucchini, that works really well in this crostini too. So mix this all up. Mm, delicious. And then this just gets put onto the crostini. Keep it on there. You want quite a lot. This nice counterbalance to the roasted asparagus. And then we're going to pop the asparagus on the toast. Oh, I think this one might need a tiny bit more. There we go. All right. <clears throat> and Keep these on top. 
Oh. In an attractive pattern. And these are ready to go. The next one will make uh, the avocado toast. So for the third crostini, it's my version of avocado toast. Everyone's gone mad about avocado toast. It's delicious. Um, so this is a little twist on that. Avocados, some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, and microgreen arugula. So just baby, baby arugula on the top. <coughs> Sorry, drizzle of olive oil, and there you go. So just scoop out the avocado and you can either use a spoon, but I actually quite like to use a fork just to mash it into the toast itself. And do that on all the toasts. You want quite a lot of avocado on the bottom of each one. It's creamy and delicious. There. Do that one. And then, on top of that, the slices of the slices of the mozzarella. Lovely fresh mozzarella. It has a creaminess to it. I mean, if you really want to go mad, you could put burrata on this too, but that might be considered a little decadent. Anyway, here we go. So, a couple of slices on each one. like this and then a little sprinkling of the microgreens on top very pretty and they have a real kick to them you really get the pepperiness which is a nice counterbalance to the creaminess of the avocado and the mozzarella there I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of this, just a smidge. And it doesn't really need any pepper as you have already the pepperiness of the arugula there, but I do like to put a little pinch of salt on here. So I am going to go and grab the ones, the mushroom ones that have just finished broiling and we'll come back and put this finishing touches on the board. So here are the lovely mushroom crostini. I'm going to pop these on here and all that will be left to do is to maybe serve this with a glass of rosé or a glass of white wine and don't forget that the recipes are in the link below and don't forget to subscribe. And in the meantime, I will wish you a bon appétit. See you next time.